Hello YouTube and welcome to the poll results of this week's poll to find out whatever the hell is going to replace Oshinoko on the channel. Uh, it's a very quick video here today, just kind of going through the data and telling you what won basically. The first thing I wanted to highlight was this thing, which I'll probably do again, which was the last question in the poll, which says write something funny or something, it's up to you. Just a lot of like jokes and stuff. Lots of like little tidbits, people saying hi, people saying watch Simpho gear, people saying poop cock, uh, a few little paragraphs in there just saying some stuff. I think somebody said like watch out for your health, which I thought was nice too. Thank you. Whilst recommending a number of shows um, as well, such as Kara no Kyokai, which I'm, I think that's like a type moon thing, but whatever. And, and Psyche K, I, I have seen Psyche K, it is very good. <laughs> I wish I could watch Psyche K again. But yeah, th thank you for the nice messages this is what I wanted to basically get across there. And it took me a little while to finagle everything, but but here are the results. If you're not blind, you can probably see that, hey, Girls Last Tour, it did all right. <laughs> it did really, really well, um, which wasn't really expected. If I had to guess what would have done well here, I probably would have said Death Note. And it did not very good. <laughs> I was I was broadly very surprised by the poll, I guess is what I want to get across. So I had 99 votes overall. So if I click into a couple of these, you can see me highlighting what each of the individual ones are. So, so let's kind of go through them in order. Cure Saw Giga, a lot of people just indifferent. I would imagine it's a, not a particularly popular show. I would imagine not a lot of people have seen it. Um, a few strong yeses, a few just no's, probably not really into it that much or, or whatever. Uh, for the record, I did go through all of the responses and basically everything that maybe looked like it was a little bit weird <laughs> in that it could be manipulating the poll was taken out, um, which was only, I think, two overall. Um, and I still ended up with 99 responses overall. Um, just going through here again, Flip Flappers, the second most popular. Um, I knew it had the support from the Discord, so I knew it would do quite well. A uh, fair few strong yeses, a um, few people objecting, but you know. My Happy Marriage, again, I would imagine that this is currently airing, not a lot of people have seen it, and even if they do, they probably don't think it's a particularly good fit for the channel, if I was guessing, considering, yeah, three strong yeses total, not really there. Again, much with the link click, I don't think a lot of people have seen it, I hadn't really heard about it uh, until it got recommended. A um, few strong noes, a few strong yeses. Uh, Death Note. Death Note's very interesting. Probably the most even spread of people. Uh, you would see less people indifferent here because it's a more popular show, you would imagine, right? So, strong no and no. Fair amounts. Um, I'm just guessing because it's too popular, probably too overexposed, probably don't want to watch it again. And then a few people obviously passionate about the show as well. Uh, Rakugo. Not a lot of people seen it, I wouldn't say with the amount of indifference there, a few no's, a few strong yeses, um, which is interesting. Again, I thought that this would be like way more indifference and then like a lot of strong emotions, right? But that's not really the case. Tamako Market, interesting as well. A lot of indifference again. So again, probably a lot of people have done the Kyoto Animation thing, but maybe not seen uh, Tamako Market like me. But the few that have definitely recommended it. Uh, Ping Pong was interesting too. Um, strong opinions in the in the positive for that one uh less indifference again probably indicating that we've seen it and maybe just i guess people not wanting you us on the channel or something again i, I don't know um i find <laughs> i find his work very good i, I want to watch ping pong at some point i don't know anyway um Shinsekai Yori. This one surprised me. I thought it would be, from what I know about the show, I thought it'd be way more contentious. I thought it'd be way more of a divisive pick, but that doesn't really seem to be the case, really. A um, few strong yeses, more in the negative, but, you know, again, ending indifferent, basically on your pretty basic bell curve there. And then we get to the big one. Girls Last Tour. And this surprised me completely and totally. Girls Last Tour was something I threw on the poll almost last second. Um, and said, hey, I wonder if they'll like this. It turns out they did. They liked it a lot. And you, you may see this number over here, and you may be like, hey, how is this number calculated? Again, as I explained in the poll video itself, for a, for a strong yes over here, you get two, right? And then one for a yes, 
and then none for an indifferent, negative one for zero, and negative two for strong no. So that's just the additive of all of this. Uh, I guess I could bring up the data, but I kind of already got my window set up, so I don't really want to move it. But <laughs> but I can show you like the calculations and stuff and how I did it. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're watching Girls Last Tour, everybody. I didn't know that people wanted it that bad. If anything, if I was going to guess for Girls Last Tour, I thought it would have a lot of just like normal yeses. I didn't know that there was this passion behind it. Which I guess is my ignorance as well, because uh, you guys definitely came out, and if you guys did manipulate the poll to get Girls Last Tour on it, then you did a really good job at hiding it to the point where I couldn't tell. So, <laughs> But yeah, this is very, very, very unexpected for me, for sure. A couple bits of housekeeping for the show. One would be subsets, one would be any information I need to go before, or I need to know before going into it. Any of that kind of stuff, I'm going to record it tomorrow if I have time, which I'm pretty sure I will at some point. Um, I hope anyway, otherwise I'm in a bit of trouble. The other one was for next week's poll, the one for the Symphony Gear replacement, I may eliminate this strong no column. Because in the end of the day, like, what is the difference between a strong no and a no other than just taking away more points, right? And if we want a poll that instead of having, like, has more positive numbers than negative numbers, because I think that this just sucks. Because if you're a fan of Link Click or Death Note or something, right, then you seeing that low number there makes you feel bad. I don't want to make people feel bad. So maybe just eliminate the strong no altogether, just have the no and just have that as a minus point. But I don't know, that's just kind of what we're talking about in Discord at the moment. Um, other than that, I think the poll went relatively well. Yeah, I, I think that's better than the Discord one. I think we've got a way better spread. I think we've got one genuine winner instead of people just... So the people that potentially, if this was an open poll that didn't like Girls Last Tour, uh, would have banded together to vote this down if, they, if the, the information was open to everybody. But again, that doesn't seem to be the case, and we actually get a more... I think, legitimate indicator of how people feel. I'll say that. So yeah, this video was probably went longer than I even thought it should have went. But but anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for voting. Uh, please stick around to vote in next week's one as well, because that one will be very, very important. I'm currently discussing what to add to that poll in Discord as well. So if you wanted to hop in there, more than welcome to do so as well. But yeah, thanks for voting, and Girls Last Tour will be out within the next little bit, couple days. So um, so yeah, thank you again, and I'll I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.